Welcome back. This is an interesting story. Extreme couponing getting some extreme backlash. Retailers saying that the growing trend is abusing their special offers, forcing some stores to change their policy. So are couponers getting a bad rap? Joining us now is the crazy coupon lady. That's not my name for her. That's her own self-described name. <laughs> and co-author of Pick Another Checkout Lane, Honey, Joni Deemer joins us. I need to preface that, Joni. I don't want people to think I'm calling you crazy. Nice to see you this morning. Hey, I'm, I am a crazy coupon lady. So what is happening here at these retailers? Are they clamping down on the folks that are bringing in tons of coupons? What's happening? You know they are and retailers have and you know stores have been changing their policies on a fairly regular basis for years but you're right since the airing of extreme couponing we've seen an increase in the rate of those changes but the problem is that the media and other outlets are portraying these policy changes as maybe game changers or even game enders for couponers and that really isn't the case even though some of the changes certainly make it more difficult for couponers to save money Others make it easier. We're seeing clarity to um, issues that have been rather gray in the past, and we're seeing rules like limits set on the number of products you can buy at a time. Like you can only buy four of an identical product. And you know, that actually helps couponers because that means that one inc inconsiderate individual can't go to a store and clear the entire shelf. So it's not all bad. Okay, so it's not all bad. So you're saying it's just a, a few bad apples who tend to ruin things for the bunch. Are going to be limited exactly in their ability what's to ruin you know, it for the, the bunch. The actions of a few, you know, do not represent the majority in this case. Okay, but now the other side of this. We just saw J.C. Penney during the Academy Awards roll out this whole new advertising campaign with Ellen DeGeneres, basically slamming coupons. And the head of J.C. Penney used to run Apple retail stores, saying, "Look, we used to put up all these gimmicks, right? We'd have sales, 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 sales all over the place. Come in with coupons, come in with coupons. But it was our way of tricking customers into thinking that they were getting." great deals. Why don't we just give customers the lowest possible price? So in a way, our coupon, this sort of coupon backlash, is it better for consumers to not have to worry about coupons anyway? Oh, you're never going to get the crazy coupon lady to tell you it's better not to use a coupon. <laughs> but you're right. You know, different retailers are you know, trying to incentivize their customers through different methods. And coupons, what people don't understand is that manufacturers are actually paying to distribute those coupons. So there really should be no stigma attached with using coupons or saving money at all. Um, you know, people don't understand that stores are actually reimbursed for every single cent of any coupon that an individual uses. Hmm. All right, great information this morning. Crazy coupon lady and co-author of the book, Pick Another Checkout Lane, Honey. Uh, Joni Deemer, thanks for joining us this morning and waking up so early with us out there in San Francisco. <laughs> Thank you.